Sony's bringing back the 80s. Robots are serving up treats and cooking your meals, while AI reconstructs faces from DNA, matches soulmates, and launches supercomputers into space. This year, expect centipede-like robots and liquid metal straight out of Terminator. By 2028, air taxis could be soaring above us. Welcome to the future. Hit subscribe and let's explore what's next. UC Berkeley engineers have launched the Berkeley Humanoid Light, a walking open source robot you can 3D print and build at home for under 5,000. It walks on its own, mimics your movements via VR, and can even pick up objects or solve a Rubik's Cube. Most parts are 3D printed, the rest come from online stores. Total cost? As low as 3200 if ordered from China. It's slower than commercial bots and not as powerful, but it's modular, hackable, and surprisingly affordable. The Unitree H1 from China starts at around $90,000. Elon Musk's Optimus is expected to cost between 20 and 30,000. And even the so-called budget model, the PM01 from Engine AI, is projected to sell for at least $12,000. Engineers at Georgia Tech have built a massive robotic centipede that crawls across farms, tearing up weeds with dozens of motorized legs and advanced sensors. According to IEE Spectrum, the machine was designed for tough terrains like steep vineyards, where big farming machines can't operate. Its creator, Dan Goldman, says it moves almost like it's swimming, gliding through chaotic landscapes without much computing power. Why so many legs? Because it works. The robot is already being tested on a blueberry farm and a vineyard in Georgia. The goal is to deploy swarms of these creepy crawlers to patrol fields 24-7, especially in pesticide-free agriculture. And here's the twist. The same tech might help with disaster cleanup, or even find a future in military operations. One thing's for sure, it'd freak out anyone who sees it crawling across a field. Researchers at Keio University have developed a wearable robotic tail. It's about one meter long, powered by artificial muscles and designed to help people balance, especially on unstable surfaces. They're exploring uses for the tail in elderly care, physical labor, sports, even space missions. But let's be honest, like it mostly looks ridiculous. Still, it swings like a pendulum and might actually help you stay on your feet. Chinese researchers have created an AI model that can generate a 3D portrait of a person using nothing but their DNA. The system is called DeFace, and it was trained on facial scans and genome data from nearly 8,000 people. Right now, it's not perfect. Each point on the AI-generated face can be off by a few millimeters. But when you add basic info like gender, age, height, and weight, the margin of error shrinks noticeably. The team says this is just the beginning. This tech could change everything. From reconstructing the faces of historical figures, to helping law enforcement identify suspects using only DNA left at a crime scene, Scientists in Barcelona have trained an AI to design tiny DNA sequences that switch genes on or off, only in specific cells. While just 2% of our DNA codes for proteins, the other 98% hides regulatory elements called enhancers, natural switches that control gene activity. But we still don't fully understand how they work. To solve that, researchers built 64,000 synthetic enhancers and trained an AI to learn from them. This could revolutionize gene therapy. We could program artificial ones to target faulty genes, like a genetic scalpel. At the same time, for the first time in medical history, scientists have used CRISPR gene editing to create a custom-made drug designed for just one newborn baby. And it worked. Researchers at Tsinghua University have announced plans for the world's first hospital powered by AI, where human doctors will be assisted by advanced AI agents. At the center of the project is MedAgent Zero, an AI system trained in a realistic hospital simulation, complete with 32 departments and AI-controlled nurses. Here's how it works. Large language models were used to create virtual patients, which the AI doctors then diagnosed and treated, learning from their mistakes, just like human trainees. In total, the AI completed over 400,000 consultations, something real doctors would need years to do. It chose the right diagnostic plan and gave the correct diagnosis in over 95% of cases. 
In a US medical licensing exam benchmark, it scored 96%. For comparison, human candidates only need around 60% to pass. Would you trust an AI doctor with your diagnosis? South Korean researchers have built a shape-shifting robot that can squeeze through metal bars, take hits, and bounce back to its original form, just like a liquid droplet. Developed by teams at Seoul National University and Gashan University, the robot combines the flexibility of fluid with the stability of solid matter. It's coated in dense, water-repelling particles that let it deform under pressure without breaking. Inspired by the Terminator franchise, this robot can move across water and solid ground, fuse with others, and even transport tiny objects. In the future, these robots could deliver medicine directly to the right cells, crawl through disaster zones, and explore the most hard-to-reach places, from machines to the human body. In Texas, students who use AI tutoring just 90 minutes a day are landing in the top 1% nationwide. In Nigeria, six weeks of AI-powered lessons achieve what used to take two years. Still, critics call AI in classrooms educational negligence until we fully understand how the technology works. Some teachers are already grading papers with AI. Others are requiring students to use it. One professor in New York even asks students to run their essays through ChatGPT and compares the bot's comments with his own. But here's the problem. AI can't grade. AI often doesn't understand what the student actually wrote. All of this is happening as 86% of students already rely on AI for their studies. And models like ChatGPT are hallucinating more than ever, just making things up. A new AI-powered dating app called Ditto is gaining traction on California campuses, and it's straight out of Black Mirror. Inspired by the episode Hang the DJ, Ditto skips likes, swipes, and awkward DMs. Instead, you fill out a profile with your interests, deal breakers, and quirks. Then, the AI runs a thousand simulations and picks your perfect match. It even sets the time and place for the date, and suggests what to talk about. We're stuck in endless apps instead of real-life connections, says co-founder Alan Wang. Why not let AI cut through the noise? Ready to let AI play matchmaker? A new report from Americans for Responsible Innovation confirms what many feared. Economists are massively underestimating how fast AI is disrupting the workforce. Unlike past tech revolutions, AI is flexible, and that changes everything. Robots from Figure, for example, took six months to learn their first task. The second? Just one month. The time keeps shrinking. That means even jobs created because of AI are quickly becoming obsolete, replaced before they've had a chance to settle in. Some companies are already living in this future. Gamma, an AI-powered platform with millions of users, operates with just 28 employees. A decade ago, a company like that would have needed at least 200 people. Now, it's the new normal. Check out our videos exploring how jobs are evolving in the age of AI. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Scientists have unveiled the world's first interactive 3D holographic display that lets users physically touch and manipulate digital objects in mid-air. How? Through ultra-fast vibrating elastic bands that push back when you reach out, simulating the feel of real-world resistance. It's not just a visual trick. When your hand meets a hologram, the display actually fights back, giving you the uncanny feeling that you're gripping, pressing, or swiping through something solid, even though it's pure light. Right now, these tools are still in the prototype phase, but they point toward a future where digital and physical worlds merge seamlessly. As one researcher put it, one day, you might wear a headset that sends touch signals straight to your brain when you interact with 3D objects. Wild? Yes, but this is where we're heading. Home robots are coming, and your messy house is the perfect training ground. By the end of 2025, companies like Figure, Unitree, and Norway's X1 Robotics, creators of the humanoid robot Leo, plan to roll out humanoid robots into people's homes. One engineer put it simply, when you drop these robots into a household, they get better a lot faster. Figure, for example, saw their robot's training time drop from six months down to just one between project phases all thanks to real-world household deployment. And it's not just humanoids. 
New 800 3D printed prosthetic arms now offer 29 types of motion. Robots are learning to navigate unfamiliar environments with zero prior exposure. The real goal isn't just to sell robots, it's to turn your home into a live training ground where robots learn and evolve. Let's just hope no robot owners get hurt while the robot is still learning. By the 2028 Olympics, electric air taxis will officially become part of Los Angeles' city traffic. They'll lift passengers above the gridlock, from airport to stadium in just minutes. The star of the show is Midnight, a sleek, nearly silent aircraft from Archer Aviation. It takes off vertically, flies like a plane, and hums quieter than a home air conditioner. On board, one pilot and four passengers. A 30-kilometer ride takes 10 to 20 minutes and costs about the same as an Uber Black. A quick 10-minute charge and it's ready to fly again, and LA is just the beginning. Archer is eyeing Miami, Chicago, and Abu Dhabi next. Joby, Whisk, and China's Ehang are also building air taxi networks across the US and Asia. Urban transport is about to take off. Would you fly to work? That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.